welcome back. Thanks for tuning back into another video. So, a um, couple things been going on. Uh, had to get the bushings put back in the car, all set. Everything's good to go there. But I've been getting ready in hopes that the weather holds out so we can do another track event this week. So, a couple things I want to show you tonight. I'm switching over some uh, data logging gear, as well as the fact I'm going to go over some of the uh, the stuff here that I've done along the way. So. Stick around, let's go ahead and roll the intro and get started. guys up until now I've been data logging the car um, actually on a computer at the track and in some of the previous videos you saw the helmet go by you've seen the laptop move around so I've done a little research and I've determined that there's a way to be able to data log on board um, I'll put the link that I found for a YouTube video from Honda in the description below but ultimately you can change a few parameters in here and then every time the car hits those set parameters or you activate a switch I'm going to use the parameters then the car will automatically start data logging and it can record and hold so much and then I can pull it off but what I wanted to show you tonight was I went ahead and made the adjustment a lot of people will use a Windows machine um, I own a Mac so I wanted to be able to combine everything and have it all on one device fewer devices to have to worry about charging so let's go ahead and pull everything off and uh, I'll show you how I get the tune from the car onto the computer since this is a, a new one that's never had this file. All right, so <clears throat> I've got Windows installed on the Mac, um, S Manager for S300 installed, and ultimately I've opened it up, plugged it in. Um, this particular cord runs all the way down here into the side of the car. But first thing you need to make sure is that your driver here is installed, and that way you can actually connect so let's go to online download Oop, my camera is bad so you go up here to online and then you go to download so now that we have downloaded I've actually got the file from the ECU so I'm going to save this and I'm just gonna name it without any spaces and without any numbers and without any funny symbols because we've had problems with that in the past. So latest tune, no spaces, saved. All right, so now I've got what's in the computer out. I'm gonna go ahead and move forward with the parameters. So with the parameters, let's go ahead and make this puppy bigger. We're going to go to onboard data logging and we're going to enable onboard data logging. By doing that, we're going to go based on engine parameters. And we're going to do engine speed over 4,000 RPMs, over 88% throttle. So this is typically going to kick off or start itself whenever I enter the water box to do a burnout. And then it's going to stop whenever I go to pick up the ticket here at the end of the track. 2,000 RPMs or one mile an hour. So I want to make that adjustment. We're going to hit save. Now let's go here and turn the key on. Let's go ahead and upload the tune. Upload and we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and try to start the car. Make sure there's no gremlins. 